Hello, and a very warm welcome. Max wins the Spa Grand Prix. I nearly said Spanish then, for some reason. Uh, yeah, not the best of races, I have to say. Jesus, it was a very boring race. Nothing to do with Max and his dominance. He's in a league of one. Uh, but, yeah, a very poor Grand Prix for Spa. Yeah, Max wins, Sergio Perez second. I'm sure he'll be windmilling and trousers down and waving his Mexican flag for that, but I wouldn't be. 22 seconds off his teammate. And Charles Leclerc, a very strong P3. We get into the start of the race. Carlos Sainz nearly hits the back of Lewis. He comes over to the right side, basically squeezes Piastri in the wall. Oscar retired, Sainz retired. Max overtakes Perez. Now, it was definitely scripted. Perez came out. He was still in the lead. Two seconds. He loses two seconds in like the space of one lap. For me, it's definitely scripted, but irrelevant, really. Max would win anyway. Sergio's not very good. Yeah, I've got to say, a very boring race. Didn't enjoy it, really. And it's usually a great track at Spa. Star of the race, I'll give it Charles Leclerc. Um, yeah, most people have given it Max, but I expect him to do that. You could give it one foot one, but he's only gained one position. Um, yeah, I suppose Leclerc. I don't know. Leclerc or one foot one for driver of the day. Fastest lap, Lewis. Race rating, I'll give it two out of ten. And I think two is quite generous. P1 Max. Ninth win in a row. He's probably going to beat that record. Too easy for him, too easy. Just boy, bided his time behind Lewis, got Lewis, got Leclerc. And then Perez basically moves out of the way. P2, Sergio Perez. This guy, I hope he gets sacked in the summer break. He is absolutely useless, is this guy. He'll, he'll be over at moon with P2, but yeah, we need someone to compete with Max. And Perez is incapable. Uh, he's inept. Um, yeah. It'd be over at Moon with P2, but yeah, 22 seconds off his teammate when he was leading the race. P3, Charles Leclerc, very solid. Yeah, he's been fast all weekend, deserves that. P4, Lewis Hamilton, fastest lap. Uh, yeah, again, had George's number this weekend. P5, Fernando Alonso. I would say that's kind of an overachievement for Aston. Yeah. Uh, P6, George Russell, awful weekend once again. Once again, terrible. Schooled by Lewis. He's not been good this weekend. He needs the summer break, I would say. P7, Lando Norris. Now it was looking very bleak for McLaren. Norris down in last. Started on mediums. Pitted after about six laps. I'm thinking, what's going on here? Running around at the back. Well, that's quite... Considering we're in after a couple of laps, that's actually not too bad. McLaren went with a wet setup. That was a disaster. Eight Festa Van Ocon. He had a very good race, actually. He's probably a shout for driver of the day. Put a lovely move on one foot one. Ninth Lance Stroll. He was saving fuel. Tenth one foot one. Strong by Yuki Tsunoda. He outqualified Ricardo and beat him in the race. Had to do that. And he's done it. 11th, Gasly. What, the only guy that one stopped was all over one foot one. P12, Valtteri Bottas. 13th, Guan Yu Joe. 14th, Alex Albon. Very fast at the end. Three stopper for Williams. Don't know what that's about. 15th, Magnussen. A better weekend. He's actually been ahead of Hulkenberg. 16th, Ricardo. Beaten by one foot one. 17th, Logan Sargent. 18th, Nico Hulkenberg, um, who had a very poor weekend. Car issues, but yeah, not good enough that by Hulk. Retirees, Oscar Piastri, Carlos Sainz. Tomorrow will be driver ratings. And unfortunately, as F1 fans, we've got like a month off now. So, yeah. Join me for driver ratings tomorrow and we'll be covering loads of videos in the season break. And we'll probably be talking about that Mexican Sergio Perez.